Good day guys, this is another ICT lecture brought to you by IC Detectives Philippines. I'm your host, JR Navarro, and in this episode, we'll be talking about the different ways that could help you get the best out of the technology that is available to you. We'll provide you with helpful tips and guidelines for safe social media life, as well as setting out the expectations for using the ICT equipment in and out of the school. So let's get started. First, always be secure. You should always keep your passwords to yourself and do not share them with anyone, even to your closest friends. But if you're a kid or a minor, let your parents know it for your own protection. You should always log out or log off your account on any of the devices that you're using in public places, like in computer rental shop or in public libraries. You never know what other might do to your account if you leave it. You should always lock your computer when you walk away from the screen, even for a short while. Especially in computer rental shop, other people may play a prank at you that can lead in hurting you or your friends. Second, be respectful. You should always be polite and use the appropriate language to the people you're chatting with. You never know who is on the end of the other line. You should not access, create, store, or distribute files that could be thought as offensive, indecent, or cause harm or upset others. This may land you to a serious crime offense like cyberbullying. You should not look at anyone else's files without their permission. Always remember, respect others' privacy. You should know that bullying by the use of text, multimedia messaging, email, or on social media site is unacceptable and may lead you to a very serious consequence on your part and the victim. Third, be safe. You should not share any of your personal information or other people's home address phone number in the social networking sites. So now, yes, yes now. Do it! Yes, you can! Just do it! Post this video and edit your personal information on your Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and other social networking sites. I'm back! Next, you should be wary of any emails that ask you for any of your personal information. You might be victimized by identity theft if you answer to the spam mail sent by hackers. You should check with an adult about anything you see that concerns you or your friends and report it to the proper authorities. You should not put any personal details about other people into emails, posts, comments, or updates. Remember, bad people are just lurking everywhere in social networking sites. You should never meet up with anyone offline that you have only met online without a parent or a trusted adult with you. Kidnappers are there waiting for a child to fall into their traps and do not let yourself be one of them. Fourth, be responsible. You should think carefully about the places you go online. And keep focus only on the things you are working on. Don't enter on suspicious and inappropriate websites. You should take good care of the ICT equipment you use. You should understand that if you are irresponsible in using the ICT, you might lose your access to it. You should understand that you may be able to use your own device or mobile phone in school only at a grid time. If you use it in class without permission, your device may be confiscated 
and your parents or guardian will be informed. Fifth, be legal. You should only copy, upload, publish, and distribute materials that are appropriate to the public. You should only take images or video of other people or friends with their full knowledge and permission. You should not copy, upload, publish, and distribute image or videos of others without their permission. You should know that you should not copy materials, music, videos, or picture from the internet and use them in your own work unless they are copyright free or with proper citation and credits of the owner. You should remember that anything you do can be traced back to you, including your browsing history and the content you uploaded, copied, published, or distributed. Remember. Anything you do or upload will be there in the internet forever. Forever, 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 ever, forever, ever. And even your grand grandchildren may search you in the internet. So thanks for watching. If you want to find out more information on how to keep safe with any aspect of online or digital safety, support us by clicking the like button and sharing this with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to see more future content like this. And down there is the link to our Facebook page that you should totally follow. So as always, stay curious.